All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond early this morning. So as India waited with bated breath to make a giant leap in its space journey, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO officially, has called off the launch of the moon mission earlier this morning due to a technical snag. Now, the countdown to the launch was in fact put on hold at 56 minutes and 24 seconds. ISRO has said that it will announce a revised launch date later. Now the launch was scheduled to take place at 2.51 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning today at Sri Harikota Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh as per ISRO's update. The filling of the liquid hydrogen in the cryogenic stage of the GSLV Mark III had been completed. However, the technical snag was noticed when the cryogenic fuel was being loaded, and now the scientists will need to empty the loaded fuel to further investigate. Now, the $141 million space launch vehicle, and which weighs almost about 3.8 tons, will explore the southern part of the moon, making India the first country in the world to do so. Now, Chandrayaan-2 is, of course, the sequel to Chandrayaan-1, which has been ISRO's most complex mission ever. So this, of course, is the latest update in terms of what has happened so far in Chandrayaan-2. The launch was expected to take off at 2.51 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning, but pretty much... In the last hour after the fuel, the cryogenic fuel had been filled in the boosters, it was decided that there was a technical snag and therefore the la launch will be delayed. It has not taken place today. One was expecting that the GSLV Mark III, which is India's heavy lift space launch vehicle, which would have taken this satellite into a geosynchronous satellite, has not taken place in the wee hours of the morning today. This, remember, is expected to be India's most complex space mission ever. It's also a pretty expensive one as well. It is estimated to be worth almost about a thousand crore rupees. And it would have the, the destination to which this space launch vehicle and also the probe is destined for is the south pole of the moon that has not been explored so far. And what is interesting, and one of the biggest differences in terms of Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2 is that this would have been an attempt at soft landing on the moon, something that has not been done by India so far. And if the launch had indeed taken place in the VRs of the morning today, then this rocket would have been on its way to land on the moon, either on the 6th or the 7th of September. But that has not taken place in the VRs of the morning today, and that is due to a technical snag. It was initially delayed by some time and then the, the launch was called off today for it to be carried out at a later date. Remember, one of the standout features of India's space program has also been about the economy of the space program. And my colleague Siddharth MP has been tracking the developments very closely. He's now joining us over the phone line. Good morning to you, Siddharth. Now, this is a bit of a heartbreak considering the build-up to the Thanks, space launch vehicle. So give us a sense as to what exactly has happened in the wee hours of the morning today. Everything seemed absolutely normal and there was a kind of unmatched enthusiasm here in Sri Harikota last night when thousands of people had gathered, uh, a lot of members of the public had gathered here at the new uh, viewers gallery to witness the launch, to witness Chandrayaan 2, that is GSLV Mark 3, the Bahubali rocket make history by lifting off majestically. But unfortunately, it was barely an hour after the cryogenic fuels, that is uh, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen were filled into the topmost stage of the rocket and right. barely an hour after that tweet put out by ISRO, 
somehow there was an error and the countdown had to be stopped and that itself sent shock waves for the people here because this itself was a mission that was highly highly anticipated and also this mission suffered several setbacks prior to this also when there were multiple delays due to some technical issues and due to some further testing that had to be done to some of the components including the pragyan rover and also the vikram lander so this was a highly anticipated launch and people had gathered here to you know witness history as it was being made but unfortunately yes it is a temporary setback and isro has said that this is a technical snag and they are uh, exercising abundant precaution and they are calling off the launch for the particular day but of course uh, they will also notify us when the rocket is expected to be launched next but isro has a lot of work to do to rectify the mistakes that take right. uh, took place and to also ensure that there is zero margin for error henceforth absolutely indeed although it may not be looked at as a setback because these kind of precautions are take uh, do take place and they are fairly routine in in space missions now one of the other aspects that i want you to talk about uh, siddhant is also the economy with which isro is able to carry out uh, these space missions we saw that happen with chandrayaan 1 we also saw that happen with mangalyaan where the space missions by isro happen to be cheaper by a factor of 10 in comparison with some of the other international space missions so give us a sense as to how successful isro has been in the past in having carried out in missions of this sort right from its very inception isro has been that one agency that has been at the vanguard of space technology for india and the speciality of isro is the fact that they achieve more with very less so isro's dream of uh, you know going big and achieving big for the country has not been by you know using up maximum resources but by using minimum resources right. and all the missions that isro has done in the recent past are uh, ample testimony to that because you rightly mentioned chandrayaan and mangalyaan all of those were done using very small and very less powerful rockets when compared to what uh, america or the russians would possess but yet these rockets in their very first attempts uh, beat at the shot at moon or beat at uh, you know the trip to the mars which was mangalyaan both these rockets uh, performed excellently and it was a textbook launch and both the satellites reached their dest uh, destinations perfectly and performed their missions and uh, it is important to point out you were saying that uh, some of their missions are less expensive than that of other agencies but we must also notice the fact that they are also much uh, less expensive when compared to some of the contemporary hollywood flicks that we watch in the theaters absolutely indeed that's that's very true indeed thank you very much indeed siddhant mp for joining us and getting us the latest in terms of what has happened in the vrs of the morning here in sri harikota